tight, people. I'm out of breath because we just walked from way down there, way up here, on a really steep hill, to put all of our stuff, like our overnight stuff, back in the car. And now we're going back down to go find a place that has internet and tea and coffee and things like that to do work all day long. Um, who knows what the weather's gonna be like today? I don't, I don't even know what time it is. I'm guessing 10, maybe 10-ish. Yeah, we ate breakfast at the Airbnb this morning, which was really nice. Yeah, now we're just headed back down the hill. We'll have to come back up the hill to get our car later. Yay, hills. We are at the Hub Cafe, the same one we were at yesterday morning with Luke's parents. Um, just because the tea was good and it comes in such a cute, cute little teapot and a little milk jug right there. Adorable. They also have Wi-Fi and nice places to sit. So we're just gonna work from here for a while. We can't find an outlet, so until Luke's computer dies and we're done with our tea, then we'll go somewhere else. So that's an update of what we're doing. We've moved into another place to have tea. We're in a fun little alcove. There's Wi-Fi, there's outlets, there's tea. It's a good day. Still working. We'll see when we leave here and move to another place, but we've still got a couple more hours ahead of us. By a couple, I mean a lot more hours ahead of us of work today. Awesome. It is now about four o'clock, right? Yes, it's about. about four o'clock. Just finished working at the Surf Shack Cafe. Um, so, full day of work finishing up the illustrations for my website uh, that I've been working on for a while, but now we finally have a 30 day, I got a, a Luke got it, a 30 day trial of Illustrator. Is it Photoshop I'm using? You did it both. Both, <laughs> Illustrator and Photoshop. And now we're gonna go on a quick little walkie. I'm gonna get a Cornish pasty. And because we're in Cornwall and everything is Cornish here, and we're just gonna have a little walk and then we gotta walk back up the big hill and get into the car and we're gonna drive home. I think I'm gonna stop at that shop I was at yesterday and maybe look at that shirt again because it's a good shirt, but we'll see because we are going to go to Amsterdam in a couple of weeks and I'm probably gonna want another shirt there. And I don't have money to buy all this stuff with, but we'll see. Guys, I, success, we got the pasty. But I said I wanna eat it on the beach and said, and Luke said that's not happening because I'll get attacked by a seagull. I'm not allowed to take it out in a seagull. But look at it. Look at it real quick. Pasty. I'm going to steal it so I have to eat it like this. Okay. It may take a while to reach any meat. That's the thing. Uh, it's a runja. It's like a calzone. It's a little, it tastes no, like a runja, runja, doesn't it? It's a runja. Well, I like this more than a runja. There's like potatoes in it and stuff, which is, um, and onions. Well, it's a runza. And rutabaga. It's a runza. And rutabaga. Yeah, it's a runza. The store's incredible. You can buy seashells, or you could buy them with faces on them. <laughs> Rock concert. Oh. Oh, they're very, <laughs> this, this one's the best. <laughs> Luke is a terrible shopping influence and I bought the shirt. It's a really nice shirt though. I bought a shirt similar to this um, when I was in Paris two years ago and I love it and I don't wear it enough because I love it too much and I don't want it to like get bad in the wash. So because I wear that other one so much and I love this one, it's kind of the same style but different and black and white, had to buy it. Convinced myself. I'm excited to wear it. Also, apparently, it's gonna be flooding in Cheltenham and raining and thunderstorming next week. This week. Like this week. Right. But who knows, because it never does what the weather's gonna say. So, I didn't bring a lot of long sleeve shirts because I thought it would be humid and very hot. And it's not. Great, awesome. I have a baby seat on there. That's adorable. This is the hill. We have to climb up to get to the car. Second time today. I'm actually dying. Um, this is just halfway up. And we have another extremely steep hill over there. 
time up there. Oh, God. Yeah, look at that. Oh, God. Here we go. We can do it. A really funny thing just happened that I have to share. Luke was saying that there was a kid show, and I thought he said it was called Dick and Dong in the Bungalow. But bungalow. it's Bungalow. And I thought he was, so I thought he was saying that it's Dick and Dom. And I was like, so he first said, I was like, wow, that's really, those are really inappropriate names for a kid's show. Uh, and, um, well, it sounds like he was saying Dong. Yeah. That British accent, man. We stopped at a service station. Same when we stopped it on the way here. And I got a quinoa and avocado Spanish style salad. I had it before at Mark and Spencer Eye service station. It's really good. And Luke got some prawns. Hello everyone, I look exhausted. Luke and I got back, he ordered some Chinese food. I did not partake because I dislike Chinese food a lot. And that's the puzzle we've been working on. We're getting really close. Where's Waldo? It is killing us. We also watched some eight out of 10 cats, which is always a good time. And now I'm going to bed. I'm gonna read some Harry Potter and fall asleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning, bye.